China is enduring its coldest winter in decades. According to state media, the average temperature for the whole country since late November has been minus 3.8 Celsius, the lowest in 28 years. In the northeast alone, the average has been minus 15.3, colder than any winter for the past 42 years. In the northeast and also in the north of the far western region of Xinjiang, we have seen temperatures approaching minus 50. Cold winter weather in China is caused by cold fronts coming down from Siberia. Further, in then the northeast and Xinjiang, we are also seeing snow along the Yangtze River provinces of Jiaqi, Zhejiang and Enhui. Along the northern coast, thick ice has expanded across some 27,000 square kilometers of the Bay of Bohai, trapping more than a thousand ships. Inland in Inner Mongolia, heavy snows have left two people dead and more than 260,000 in need of aid. Although temperatures in the north have been well below those in the south, the weather has caused more disruption in southern regions rather than northern areas. Experts say this is because in the south, people are much less accustomed to freezing cold and snow. In northern China, for example, the structure of houses and heating means that when the temperature drops right down, people can adapt. South of the Yangtze River, however, there is no central heating and the houses don't have insulation, so it's much harder to get used to. In the southwestern province of Guizhou, emergency teams have been sent to repair more than 700 power lines knocked out by ice. In neighboring Yunnan, which is tropical at low altitude, freezing fog reduced road visibility, leaving thousands of vehicles stranded. On Thursday, the Ministry of Civil Affairs sent out 2,000 tents, 40,000 cotton quilts and 40,000 cotton overcoats to help those without adequate shelter in Jiangxi, Hunan and Guangxi. China's last big challenge from cold weather came five years ago. In early 2008, blizzards of snow and ice swept through the country's south, causing widespread power outages and affecting more than 100 million people. Experts say lessons learnt in 2008 and better funded local governments mean the country is much better prepared now to manage freak weather. While over 120 people died in the cold in 2008, this year less than 10 deaths have so far been reported. Stephen Rebay, Press TV, Beijing.